Welcome to today's crypto news video where I've got some great news for you through all the FUD that we've been seeing in crypto lately. I mean, there's a lot of development going on, but I mean FUD in the sense of the market, right? Prices crashing, things not working well, bridges being hacked, etc. We finally get some positive news and that's in relation to the UK Prime Minister, the new UK Prime Minister. He's an ex-finance minister. His name is Rishi Sunak. You've probably heard about him on the news already. Uh, but the idea here is that he's actually pro crypto. We're going to talk what he's trying to, we're going to talk about what he's trying to do. Uh, so he plans to turn the country into an international hub for crypto. Let's, let's talk about this article here. So Rishi Sunak, who shepherded the UK's new crypto ambitions during his time as finance minister, has been chosen to be the country's next prime minister following Liz Truss's controversial exit from office last week. Sunak was chosen by his fellow conservative party members blah 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 we're not going to talk about this but let's move on and talk about crypto so during his time as finance minister under former prime minister boris johnson sunak announced he wanted to turn the uk into a crypto hub he helped usher in the financial services and markets bill which if passed into law could give local regulators broad power over the crypto industry starting with bringing assets asset packed crypto like stable coins into the scope of payments regulations under his leadership the country's coin producer the royal mint was tasked with creating a non-fungible token so an nft collection which has yet to come to fruition so let's see if that actually happens now uh, so Truss's government had expressed a commitment to Sunak's crypto plans but her resignation threatened to shake things up once again the local crypto industry which had been in communication with Sunak over crypto policy during his tenure, tenure as finance minister stands to welcome his appointment as the leader of the government. Following the announcement of Sunak's appointment, Adam Jackson, director of policy at Innovative, Innovate Finance, a UK tech industry body that also advocates for crypto, called the former finance minister a champion of fintech. It's, positive for, it's a positive for crypto and the general economy. Ian Taylor, director of the industry lobby, a group crypto uk told coindesk via whatsapp so this is awesome right i mean we've yet to see what's going to happen in the uk with crypto and i think it's it's opening the door to innovation and that's always welcomed right if you're going to have blockchain tech you're likely going to have crypto tech now we may not be fans of stable coins which is another thing but at the end of the day you got to look at the positives here i mean it opens the door to crypto we are seeing a lot of crypto development it's all about regulation now once the regulation comes into place and obviously not too much regulation because you don't want to over regulate this market but just enough regulation to keep people safe at the end of the day because you don't want people to lose money with crypto scams right who wants to lose money with crypto scams sure it may be your fault for getting into that meme uh, but uh, you know uh, why why should you lose money with it there should be some sort of protection so uh, we'll uh, we'll hopefully see more of those in the future now next i want to talk about the sui ecosystem i have made an announcement on twitter that i will be covering the sui ecosystem also aptos and also celeria so these are the ones that i'm going to talk about in the coming uh, for the remainder of this year in fact and uh, sometime next year as well depends how long uh, if I don't see any potential in these ecosystems, although I highly doubt that they won't see, I think we will see potential. But if we don't, then of course I'm going to switch back to Polkadot only, uh, likely covering Cosmos as well. But for now, I want to focus on these new ecosystems and still cover some Polkadot content as well. So I'm not going to abandon Polkadot altogether. It's just not going to be full-time Polkadot, right? You are going to get more videos from me regarding Sui, regarding Aptos and Celeria, like I said. So. Uh, what do I want to look at? Well, the first thing I want to look at is the GameFi section. And then after that, I will be taking a look at the NFT one and then the DeFi one. So to me, the DeFi one is the least important because it's just an oversaturated market, in my opinion. So I don't think it's worth covering that much, but you never know. There could be some gem there. One which I'm not happy to see here is that in the tools and infrastructure section is Chainex, uh, which we all know if you've been following this channel, if you haven't been following it till recently, I used to heavily cover Chainex because I had high hopes that they will really be bringing Bitcoin over to Polkadot. And in the end, they didn't even become a pirate chain. So they basically abandoned it. They decided to work on the coming, the coming chat app. And uh, ever since they got, they, they started working on that, they basically lost focus with uh, the Polkadot uh, ecosystem so they've, they've switched all together and it looks like they're now jumping trend once again because they saw people have lost hope in them have kind of abandoned them the community have left so now they're jumping on board the Sui ecosystem which I'm not happy to see so I'm assuming they're gonna sell the idea of bringing Bitcoin to Sumi 
which I don't even know if it's gonna happen to be honest, maybe it will, but yeah, I don't trust them anymore. So this is one I'm personally staying away from. That doesn't mean that there won't be other good ones here from this. So one which I've actually noticed here because just by scanning this, I mean, you, you kind of get the idea. This one is a joke, puke to earn, so I'm staying away from that. Uh, somebody made a joke on Twitter about that, that it's actually, it actually seems interesting, but it's just a joke NFT. Uh, but Rushdown Revolt is one I'm personally looking into right now. And I will be talking a little bit about it. So as you can see, this is their website here. And the reason I'm bullish on this one, and I think it provides some potential, especially for gamers, is because you can actually play this game right now uh, if you're on Steam. Gamers know that if, you, if you're if registered on Steam, you can actually play a lot of these games, right? So the idea is that this game is going to use NFT technology. You can own these characters and obviously objects inside the game. And uh, you can use that technology, the NFT technology, on... Um, on the SUI ecosystem, okay? Because, I mean, if you think about it, there are gonna be a lot of projects. The Blue Moon, for example, is an NFT marketplace, right? And this is the biggest one on SUI. Right now, if you wanna get some testnet SUI tokens or SUI coins uh, from the testnet, because we're assuming that maybe they're gonna give us some airdrop like we've seen with Aptos, then the best way to do it without having to go to Discord is to go to the Blue Move website, click on the SUI faucet after you connect your wallet and you instantly get 50 million coins straight in your wallet and you can even mint an NFT instantly through Blue Move. So it is a good marketplace and I will be talking about that in depth in a different video. Uh, but uh, yeah, like I said, Rushdown Revolt, to me, it seems like the best one out of the gaming section, at least so far. Uh, but we'll, uh, we'll see how things go. Of course, we need to monitor the other ones and see what's there. And uh, I will be taking a look at the NFT section after. But uh, of course, Blue Move is one worth watching as well, keeping an eye on, because this is supposed to be the biggest NFT marketplace on SUI. Still in development, so it's still the early days, but we'll have to see how things progress. And remember, don't turn a blind eye to any ecosystem because you never know where that next gem is going to come out of. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.